Hey everyone, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to my channel True Out. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I would really love that. But today's video is going to be all about creative thinking strategies and how to turn music into visual art and especially turn a certain lyric and paint a scene through the lyric. So this is something that I touched on in my video about four ways to spark your creativity. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it down below. I would recommend maybe you watch that first. But today's video is going to be focusing a lot on the first step I talked about. So using audible creativity to inspire your visual creativity. And in my case, using music and lyrics to inspire art. So something I like to do is have music and a lyric inspire a fashion illustration. I love designing fashion illustrations. I like mine to be deeper than just a regular illustration. I like it to be more of a work of art. So something that I do is I always put wings. I like to create costume pieces, something more along the lines of what you would see on the Victoria's Secret runway, something that is not necessarily has to be produced. It doesn't necessarily have to be realistic, but it's just a piece of art and it's inspired by a lyric and it paints a scene in your mind. So I'm going to show two of my illustrations today, the lyrics that inspired them and how I got from the lyric into the actual illustration. So the first illustration that I'm going to show you is this peacock illustration. So the wings in this scenario are peacock feathers. And I'm going to tell you how I got this whole design. So the lyric that I was inspired by is from the Taylor Swift and Zayn song, I Don't Want to Live Forever. And the very specific lyric I got was, I'm sitting eyes wide open. So the full lyric goes, I'm sitting eyes wide open and I've got one thing stuck in my mind. But I wanted to focus on the first part, I'm sitting eyes wide open. So how can eyes wide open be interpreted into something visual. Okay, so the very obvious thing would be something with eyes, but we don't want to go surface level. That's very surface level. That's not delving deep into your creativity. You can do better than that. So I'm sitting eyes wide open. What is something that is very wide open? So what is something that could be wings that is wide open? So you're thinking, what's wide open? What's wide open? You could do something like, okay, a door is wide open. Um, there's a million things you could think of that's wide open, but we need something that's going to look cool in an illustration and as wings. So I'm sitting eyes wide open. So something that is wide open could be a peacock. A peacock opens its feathers wide open. And what is on a peacock feather? Something that looks almost like it could be an eye, an eye of the feather. So you've got peacock feathers, eyes wide open, and the actual feather looks like it could be an eye. So that is the way I got that idea from I, I'm sitting eyes wide open into peacock feathers. And so then once you have the peacock feathers, you create the rest of the illustration. So the dress, the main skirt of the dress is supposed to also be representative of something very fluffy, feathery, um, but then at the same time holding those same colors as the peacock feathers. And then one thing that I put into the illustration that it, you have really have to look for is her necklace. So you always want to put in something into an artwork, something kind of hidden, something that someone has to look for, but that's there. It's very obvious. It's staring you right in the face, but you have to look for it to know what it means. So her necklace, if you look deeper, is actually an evil eye necklace. So I'm sitting eyes wide open and evil eye. I love evil eyes. You can see I'm wearing one right now. I wear this almost every day but I'm sitting eyes wide open, so she's got her evil eye necklace. The evil eye is wide open, it's ready, it's there to, you know, ward off the negativity, and yeah, so that's how I got that idea off of eyes wide open. So that's one way that you can use the creative thinking strategies. So you've got something like eyes, well, what's an eye? So you're, you're not just going surface level, it's not just an eye, it's not just something wide open. You have to delve deeper, and you might have to write this out, you might have to create a little map, a web, and keep connecting points and points, but once you get the hang of it, you can come up with something a lot quicker. Um, like I got peacock feathers from Eyes Wide Open pretty quickly. I didn't have to create a whole map, but sometimes you do. 
The second illustration I'm going to show you is probably my favorite illustration I've ever done, or one of my favorites. It is this girl right here. It's I love it. It's just so dark. It's so mysterious. Um, I know I, my aesthetic is very bright and pink and feminine, but I really love to create something dark, and I love the type of creativity and the inspiration that can come from deeper, darker, moodier scenes. So. The lyric that is posted with this illustration and what inspired it is there's a jet black crow droning on and on and on. And that lyric is from Fall Out Boy's song, Twin Skeletons Hotel in New York City. And this song, if you haven't heard it before, it's basically about a Bonnie and Clyde sort of couple who they have their sins, they have their faults, they're committing these crimes in New York City. And they're in it together till they die, you know, till they're skeletons for an eternity. And they've just got these prob problems and struggles. And the jet black crow droning on and on and on, that is supposed to represent their eternal struggle that they're going through, their eternal sins, and everything of that nature. So overall, the song is very punchy, it's very dark, it's very moody. So you know right off the bat that your illustration is not going to be light and bright and fun. It's going to be darker and moodier. So... There's a jet black crow droning on and on and on. The first thing I think of when I think of a jet black crow is The Vampire Diaries. Now, I watch Vampire Diaries every single night. It's my favorite show. I've seen it four times through. I just finished it, so now I'm watching the originals. But anyways, I love it. So the first thing I think of is the opening scene for Damon in season one, episode one of The Vampire Diaries, is he is introduced with a jet black crow. It's kind of meant to represent his brooding evil nature or the evil nature he's depicted to have in the first season and that he's looming over the town he's coming back to mystic falls and his presence is going to be here so okay so he's meant to be depicted as the evil brother and he's a vampire so evil vampires okay still surface level so we're not going to do a vampire outfit so what created the vampires so the vampires live in mystic falls mystic falls is a magical place so magic is actually what created vampires. The original vampire family was created by their mother Esther, and Esther was a witch. So witch, witchcraft. We are going to take witchcraft. How can we turn that into wings? We're going to use the pentagon symbol for witchcraft as the wings. So these wings are black, they're dark, they're triangular, they're very punchy. And now we have to create the illustration off of that. So the skirt is very flowy it's down to the ground but it's open so the flowiness is meant to counteract the sharpness of the wings and the overall darkness of the image so all of the colors are very dark we're using mostly blacks and then we're going to use a punchiness in her thigh high boots they're like a dark punchy maroon that's just going to give a pop of color it represents the overall punchiness of the song twin skeletons and hotel twin skeletons hotel in new york city and then she's got on a long black glove, kind of alluding also to the fact of some dark magic. What is she hiding? What is she covering up? And then overall, to add even more to that is it's very lingerie inspired. So it's also kind of dark, moody. And yeah, so that's how I got that illustration from that lyric. It's my favorite illustration probably that I've done. Um, I just love how it all turned out and how the sparkles came together and the sparkles counteracting with the overall darkness. I just really liked it. So that is how I came from that lyric into the illustration. So overall, you really just have to exercise your creativity and exercise your thinking strategies. And if you practice this method over and over, just try it. You don't have to actually execute an illustration or execute a piece of art, but just take something, a lyric, a quote you heard, and then just start dissecting it. Start creating a map like a, a web map and start thinking of words that describe it, that words that you think of when you hear the song or when you hear the lyric or the quote and just keep going off and off and off and see what you can get. And you'll be really surprised. It'll be really cool. And I promise you, it'll just help your creativity. So one thing I'm going to ask is if you want to challenge me to do a certain lyric, like if you tell me a certain lyric in the comments, and you want me to create something from it, like an illustration, let me know, because I'd love to do like a little challenge, um, because a lot of times the lyrics I get and the lyrics that inspire me are from songs that I listen to over and over and over. And so when you listen to them over and over, you start to hear things that you didn't hear before, and you start to hear pieces of the melody and 
certain instrumentals that you didn't hear before that are under layers or a lyric that never stood out to you now you have now it does stand out to you so yeah I'd love to see if you just give me a song read me a lyric and tell me to try something that'd be fun but anyways um that was my video creative thinking strategies I will definitely do more videos on creative thinking strategies in the future let me know if you liked it give it a thumbs up and anyways, I will see you in the next video. So I'm signing off with some sparkles, or rainbows. I just messed up my own thing. Rainbows and sparkles. Rainbows.